I never thought this would happen. Ever since we met, it's been like a game. And now, finally, one of us won. Well, it wasn't exactly the Olympics. But of course, they got four years of practice. <laughs> Don't rush off. You know, you told me some time ago that you'd help break up Bobby and Jenna. Nothing's happened. Now, don't tell me you made this ultimate sacrifice just to get my help. Well, this is what you wanted. Now, what about what I want? Well, I have a little problem there. I thought there were never any problems for you, J.R. Well, Catherine, as much as I like you, and I like you a lot now, I think Bobby and Jenna are a match made in heaven. You what? Look, you promised me... I promised that if we went to bed, I'd help you. I just wanted to find out how far you're willing to go to get Bobby, that's all. Don't even dream of double-crossing me. Well, Catherine, don't threaten me, honey. You're way out of your league. Besides, Bobby and Jenna belong together. After all, he is the father of her little girl. Now, you don't know that. Not for sure. Oh, yes, I do. I've known for a long time. You see, I have a friend over in Rome that got me a copy of the birth certificate, uh, oh, years ago, I guess. I suppose that was the purpose of you going over there, wasn't it? Oh, I wish I could have seen your face when you found out that Bobby was the father. I don't care if he is the father. I want him, and I'll get him. Hmm. Maybe yes, maybe no. But you've just done something that's going to keep you from getting Bobby for good. Did you ever meet a lady named Holly Howard? Just once. She made a disgusting play for Bobby in my presence. I think Bobby might have liked her. She made the same mistake you did, honey. She slept with me. If she ever did have a chance with him, that knocked her right out of the box. Oh, I'm sure there were other reasons. Well, I wouldn't put it to the test if I were you. No, you just do what I want, when I want, and nobody will ever know about tonight. Not so fast, J.R. It is your word against mine. And why would Bobby possibly believe you? Oh, he might not believe me, but he will believe his own ears. He may never have heard you under these conditions, but you have a very distinctive voice, no matter what you say. saying. <sighs> would you like me to play this back for you? No. I'll call you. 